Okay, I've got some great news. I think I've replicated uh, Dr. Stifler's latest device that he's calling the Stifler Loop. And um, I think I figured it out, even though he didn't explain it real carefully. Um, I'll post his video on this, and then um, I'll try to explain the best I can what's going on here. But uh, I'm using my uh, mini Tesla coil, which is really a Slayer Exciter, instead of a signal generator because I don't have one. But I'm pretty sure a signal generator would do this same thing. See that fine little wire here? That's my signal coming out of this thing into a uh, an LED that has a heat sink on it. I'll see if I can block it out. See the metal on the back there? Well, the wire, the signal, comes into the back of that aluminum plate, and that's how this is fed through a capacitive link. And then the LED um, is driven by two AV plugs, what they call Avraminkel plugs, which are attached to this coil. I'll show you how that looks here. And this is, I believe, how he has this set up. It's an air cork coil. Uh, he's taken one of his uh, set coils and took some of the windings off of it, I believe. And it's got uh, two AV plugs, what they call AV plugs, which are the 1N4148 switching diodes, or 1N914s if you can't find those. And they put out a plus and a minus on each leg. And the plus and the minus is fed back to the LED and the coil here and the coil here according to his video are slightly different in such a way that it sets up a loop going around here and the way I have mine set up is um, they're enough different so that I'm getting away with it without having to tune it. But uh, you can tune these uh, mini Tesla coils with a ferrite rod. And you see that thing being tuned? And that's the easiest way to tune this. The Slayer Exciter are the same way. You can use a ferrite rod in the uh, L3 basically. And same thing down here. You can tune it with this. See that neon go in and out? But for some reason, I'm getting away without having to tune it. Um, pretty neat. Uh, it's really uh, amazing what this thing is doing. And uh, on his um, device, this this is a signal generator, and um, slider has got this working basically off of a signal generator. He's proven that that can be done, and he doesn't have a return path to this at all. I don't either. Uh, this is just an air capacitive link backwards. But this looping, what he's Dr. Stifler's calling this uh, Stifler loop, um, we need to study, guys. Uh, this is uh, pretty amazing. Uh, on his video, he's feeding the signal in. It's a 13 megahertz signal. I think it's 20 some odd volts. It's a sine wave. It's not the square wave that Slider's using. It's a sine wave. You know, he's using a SEC 18 L3 coil. I do not know the specs on that coil. Look at the video and see what you think. They're air cork coils. And then the second coil is slightly different by a couple of kilohertz in resonance than this coil here. Because there's a difference between the two, it's setting up this loop thing. Um, he's using a Cree light array with the aluminum heat sink and the um, wire is like I say it's just uh, taped basically to the back of the uh, aluminum heat sink and then that's how the whole unit is fed through a capacitive link through that LED uh, board and then you've got these two uh, Averminkel plugs basically coming off each end of the coil fed back to the LED and I'm pretty sure this this is it, that this is what we want to study, is this thing right here. Thanks for watching. Everybody comment uh, plus or minus on this. I'm real curious what uh, people think.